water. What a precious resource. It's everywhere. Lakes, rivers, ponds, rain. What a wonderful thing it is. Yet somehow, it's never where you want it. When was the last time you got yourself a glass of water from the lake, the river, or even the sky? There's good reason water comes out of your faucet through the pipes. But you ever wonder where that water comes from? Well, that's not a question for today, and I don't have an answer for you. But talking about water, electricity. You ever wonder when you plug in that socket where that electricity comes from? That is an answer I can give you. Surprisingly enough, it comes from water. Mankind has built the magnificent hydroelectric dam. It's where many of us get the electricity. I know there's other sources, wind, solar, and shall we say fossil fuels. But let's forget about that. Because I'm here to show you one of the really cool things about how hydroelectricity works. You're, you're probably wondering, just like me, how do they fit all that water into those lines? You're gonna be like, oh, they can't. There's no water in those lines. What are you talking about? And that's where I tell you, the viewer, you have something new to learn. Check this out. Common uh, power strip here, right? Yeah, I placed it in this little tub just for safety. Please do not do this at home. Plugged it in, and I'm gonna take a little stick or something, and let's just poke in there. And what's coming out of there? Water. Yeah, that's right. Water. But you've never tried that before. Again, don't try it. You know, if you step, if you know, if you stop and you think about it, it kind of makes sense. We measure electricity in kilowatts. Kilowatters. Kilowatters. You might already know that electricity can be deadly. The kila part of kila water. And the water, well, comes from the source of the electricity. Makes sense to you now? It's one of the dangers that Edison was passionate about. The fact that there were inherent dangers in the water delivery system of electricity. It's why he killed all those poor little elephants. Okay, so it's one thing to show you something that's sitting in a tub. What about the wall outlet? What if I'm a little thirsty? Yeah, water comes out of there too. Just like that. That's all there really is to it. I hope you learned something today. So, so then why does the water come through pipes? Well, let me kind of show you something here. I bet most of you have never looked under your kitchen sink. Well, if you ever take a look down here, yep, it's the uh, electrical outlet, delivering water straight into the sink. So next time you open up that tap, just think about where that water comes from. We live in one unbelievably amazing world. Have a good one. Bye-bye.